Hello there. So I am here at treatment. I'm about a half hour early. So I'm just hanging out in my car. Um, I sang on the way here, even got teary eyed. So like something's happening and I've been like practicing my voice and like belting out like all kinds of stuff. So, um, yeah, that was different today. Um, I normally don't even cry. So, um, I have a hard time crying. I've been punished for crying so many times that, um, I just kind of don't, um, a lot. Like if it's, it's rare for me, like maybe not even once a month will I even cry or be able to cry. And I have so much grieving to do and God damn it makes me mad that I just can't release that feeling. Cause it really, it's really painful. Like, it's not like that I'm trying not to cry. I just can't. I can feel it. It wells up in my chest. It hurts. It feels like this pain that I just can't like emote. Um, so singing somehow like helped me bring that out. So, and I only slept like a very small amount of time before I had nightmares that woke me up. Luckily, I had Buster and Susie with me. They cuddled me, and I cuddled them, and they, like, helped me through that. And that was really helpful um, this morning. Uh, now I have, like... What the fuck is that? Okay. Great. Eye booger. Okay. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The, my dog's really really helped me out this morning and um yeah I'm I'm like I'm I'm just having a hard time today and I really don't want to be here but I'm here oh I think I see a hawk you see that might be a buzzard could be a hawk I'm not really sure can you see it probably can't see it anyway <laughs> oh wait wait hang on oh no I can't do that um there we go can you see it okay anyway sorry about the donk I mean I, I accidentally bumped your head I'm sorry <sighs> okay um so tried stuff yesterday to help myself feel better because I'm really I'm really upset that I just have to suffer and there's nothing else that anybody can really help me do or, or whatever. Um, I mean, because of the medication I'm on, there's really nothing else they can give me and they're against giving me anything else to help me calm down or relax or whatever. And I'm just like a ball of nerves and I'm like angry all the time and I'm just like, this is not... It's better than wanting to commit suicide, but it's like only a step above that. Um, and the increase in medication, I know I'm still adjusting to it. So hopefully this is like week four and it takes six to eight weeks. Even if you, for me, even if I increase the dose, not just starting out on a medication. So hopefully it will start helping me to feel better. Um, I have one-on-one -on -one therapy today, so I'm going to bring up, um, my way my mind works and try to get some kind of like help with that usually when I talk about anything of like having parts or like having voices in my head or like having a round table discussion in my head everybody's like oh everybody does that and so I asked people I like specifically said in your head your thought process do you have one voice do you have multiple voices? Do you have multiple perspectives? Do you feel those perspectives as though they're actually an entity, like, differentiated from the other perspectives that's like a continuous thing? And they said no. Um, but when I talk to people who have DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, they say yes. And upon researching more, I mean, it's probably DDNOS that I have, or it's called something else too, because I can I can't remember what it is. But it, it has to do with like, it's 
dissociative, it is a form of dissociative identity disorder, but I'm co-conscious most of the time. Like I don't really lose time very often. Um, so to me, that means that, um, shit, I'm disassociating again. Not helpful. Um, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, so DDNOS actually is an old definition, but it basically means that it's not classified as DID because DID has to do with like losing. There's other symptoms that classify it as DID. So that's what I meant to say. And uh, I just need help with this stuff. But yeah, I'm dissociating a lot, like a lot. I, I mean so much that I can't work or I'm having a hard time taking care of myself. And you know, like today I made myself, made myself, made myself like do my makeup. And oh, which by the way, this is the same amount of makeup that I would wear like on camera. It's just lighter colors. So fuck everybody else that's trying to say like, oh, women shouldn't wear makeup. I look fucking great. So fuck off. You're, you're like, oh, women should wear makeup. You know what happens when I don't wear makeup? They're like, oh my God, are you tired? Are you sick? What's the matter? And I'm like, I'm just not wearing makeup. So suck it. Anyway. Now my battery's being a fuck. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I got more to say. And I don't have to go in yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I gotta text my bestie back and let him know that I'm fine because don't be worried. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, so today I'm I'm bringing up um, I'm not bringing up the definitions or the diagnosis diagnose diagnostic terms. I'm only gonna bring up like the voices and the roundtable discussion and like that I can feel parts of me. So. I did do a blog entry on abusesurvivorblog.com about this, um, where I said I would think it was called Parts of Me, and it was the parts that I knew of and could like make sense of, and um, so check that out. Um, I actually had a dream the other night, and I think I'm spending time with the other me's that live in my head, the other parts of me that I created that needed that I needed to survive um, because I have this one that's like this like angry gorilla and I used to keep him in a cage and um, in my mind because he was like rage, he held a lot of rage and he was angry and I didn't want I was afraid of my anger for a long time and I didn't want him to come out and like me to hurt anyone or like destroy property or whatever the fuck. And so I kept him, literally, I built a cage like in my head. And I'm just saying this, this is not like what other people do. Like visually, with visualization, I built a freaking cage in my head and then I locked him in there for a long time and I feel really bad about it. And cause he's actually just a big fucking sweetheart and he just gets protective is what it is. Um, cause they're all, all of the parts of me are created to protect me. And I just didn't fully form back into a whole person because, you know, I was, somebody was trying to kill me. Um, anyway, um, okay. Anyway, I had a dream and I swear he was in it because I was with a man and he was big and burly and, and cuddly and strong and amazing and just like, you know, totally my type. <laughs> but when like someone was like harassing me or like threatening me or something, I can kind of barely remember. And I said like, go get him. And like, he literally ran like a gorilla with like his arms down and stuff. And he just like, beat the holy shit out of that guy. You know, like the Hulk smash kind of thing. Except he's like, he was a man and you know, but he like kind of had the body language of a gorilla. Um, and then when he was done doing that, we were in a house and there were all of these beautiful house plants and it was a big house and it was beautiful. It was like, like a mansion type place. 
and there were these rooms and it was in like an open floor design. It was just very beautiful and there was like wood floors and it was just amazing. And like with the plants everywhere and like, it was his house, it was his place because there was like vines and, and, and plants and it was very like tropical almost. Um, and then I was in the living room with him and I cuddled up to him and I leaned my head on his chest and he put his arm around me and I said, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. And then there were children all of a sudden around and there was one that had like red frizzy hair and kind of looked like me. I mean, I've never had red frizzy hair because my hair is straight and my hair is not actually red, I just dye it. But still, it was like a smaller, like little mini me that was sitting there. And then there was a baby, like a baby baby. And then there was like this other child that was like a toddler. Um, so there's just kind of a couple toddlers and then a baby. And like I was holding the baby one and I said, don't worry, we will be able to take care of them together and they'll be safe or something like that. We'll get through this one step at a time kind of stuff. I was like comforting myself. So yeah, I and I woke up feeling like that that dream meant more than like other dreams. I don't know if that makes sense. And and I've read things that say like your dreams are actually everyone in your dream actually is you. So I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know. But it just seemed, and I have vivid dreams anyway. And sometimes I have hard time differentiating between my dreams and reality. But this seemed so real that it was like so comforting. I don't know. It was, it was, anyway, I'm going to talk about that in therapy today. And, um, I know I'm revealing like a lot of stuff that most people won't really talk about, but I don't give a fuck anymore. I like, I don't, I just want help. I don't care if I'm judged. I don't care if I'm never hired again. I like, don't care anymore. I'm like so, I'm so tired of having like secrets and like things I can't say, things I can't do, things I can't like express like it's it's infuriating and it hurts and I'm done and I just I need help and the only way I'm really going to get the help I need is if I'm completely 100% honest and if they don't like it then I will walk out the fucking door I will not tolerate somebody dismissing or minimizing my experience in life or whatever just because they don't believe in whatever because of their stupid education that only does this little quiet square box fuck your box fuck it so, yeah, I didn't mean to like yell, but I'm like frustrated. I can't yell in there, so I'm sorry guys. I didn't mean to like yell. I'm sorry if you're wearing headphones. I need to be more considerate of that. Um, yeah. Anyway, I look cute today. <laughs> Let's switch gears to something else. Like, that was that was pretty heavy. So, like, I look cute today. My new shampoo is, like, making my hair super soft. And I really like it. And my scalp feels better. I'm, like, I'm not all itchy or whatever. <sighs> and this is a lot of makeup that I'm wearing on my face. It's not just... I mean, I did put black eyeliner above my eyes and, like, a little bit underneath. And there's, like, bronze underneath. And there's white eyeshadow underneath. But the the point I was trying to make earlier is... I'm literally wearing the same amount of makeup as if I was like, you know, I'm, I mean, I have like concealer, I got foundation, I have mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow, several coats of eyeshadow, there's um, contouring going on, there's highlighter going on, there's blush, there's lipstick, it's just light colors, I mean, so when you guys are like, don't wear makeup, it's probably just like, you just don't like like the darker, harsher colors, which are so fun. So get over it because women are going to look how we want when I'm feeling like a woman anyway. <laughs> All right. So I've been blabbing for 15 minutes. I got like 10 minutes left. So I'm going to try to do like a breathing exercise to help me try to calm down because when I have like very little sleep, 
I have very little patience and that's most people but my symptoms start like going blah, they bubble to the surface everything I'm trying to like keep a lid on is like you know so <sighs> hope you guys are having a good day hope you're having a better day than me um and uh look out for some walrus face later today because I'm gonna have Wendy's before my one-on-one -on -one therapy and someone please remind me to call the dentist and make a fucking appointment because I need to take care of my mouth like seriously I have a really hard time keeping up with something like that and I hate the dentist I was traumatized by a dentist at some point in my life which I'll tell you about later um, but yeah anyway um, please remind me and I'm gonna make a little reminder as well but um, if you guys could like maybe hold me accountable I would really appreciate it um, you like maybe like in three or four days like somebody could just be like hey did you happen to call the dentist you know I mean don't like go and yell at me like call the dentist because then I'll be like fuck you I ain't never calling him again and then I'm gonna have like rotted teeth because <laughs> I'm defiant like that but like you know sorry to tone police you that's just the best way to get through to me it's not <laughs> not demand it's just to, like lightly say like hey you know I just want to remind you that you know, there's a tactful way to say it instead of being like, because I won't, you know, <laughs> the only way they can people, the only people that can talk to me like that is my best friend and my mom and my brother. And there's like, that's three people. Maybe my therapist. Nah, it's my mom <laughs> and my, I don't know her well enough to, I know she cares and she's very great, but I'm not gonna, yeah. Anyway, someone's pulling up behind, beside me and I look like a total weirdo recording in my car. So I'm going to let you guys go and um, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>